Hi, I thought I would um, make a video of my latest uh, custom circuit board that I've made. Um, it's an extension of the one, one I've already made in the past. I made this one purple LED follower, and it used it, that one used a 555 timer for timing and uh, timing pulses and a 417 decade counter IC. Um, and uh, uh, this one only used eight eight uh, LEDs, and I uh, just uh, uh, had it reset after they ate, uh, even though you could do 10 with it. But uh, um, j or you can send the pulse back to the reset button and get it to work, you know, get it just to work with eight LEDs. But I thought about making a, extending that and making a, different one so i think i'm gonna start off at the end where i normally don't do this but this is uh what i came up with it's a heart-shaped pcb and um it has 20 leds on it and um you can probably see there's a little blue potentiometer up there where you can adjust the speed this is about the middle of the speed you can go like from blinking like uh you know changing LEDs once a second up to probably uh, too fast for you to even tell the which ones are doing it and everything. So anyhow, it was a nice little project and I got it together. Um, but the thing was, is if you notice, you got all those LEDs and they're spaced quite nicely around there. I actually had to take a good bit of time to try to figure out um what tools i had in my toolbox that i could make uh evenly spaced uh uh leds like that and uh, it wasn't as easy as you would think that it could be so anyhow so um let's start let's see i think uh best place to start is on uh, fusion 360 that's where i actually started the project so I uh, figured out how to draw a pleasing shape for a geometric heart in there. And uh, um, this is the first sketch I did uh, of it. And I got the basic sketch is the inside one. And then I did the uh, uh, whatever you call it to get the uh, uh, offsets, offset lines to make it go. So um, I decided, you know, this inside one would be the center line of the uh, LEDs and then I put a line here that's the outside that's two and a half millimeters because using five millimeter LEDs uh, I figured two and a half millimeters I think and then a little bit more space for the edge and I just uh, did that so that I could uh, you know figure out where I wanted my uh, outline to be because the outline of the PCB was going to be the outside when and uh, like I say, the center line of the LEDs was going to be here. And um, I, I don't use it very often, but there's a, um, uh, I finished this sketch. So there's a function here called uh, path on a pattern or pattern on a path, I should say. So it's a pattern on a path. So you can, uh, I can probably actually edit this so you can see what it's doing. Oh, let me get my big head out of the way. So you can see what it's doing is it uh, it's uh, following this path. So it's asking you, um, uh, oh, yeah, one thing you have to know is that you might see that there was an extrude in there. You can't do this with sketch items. You can only work uh, edit pattern on a path has to be with solid items. So I actually had to make a little nub. I just made, you know, a five millimeter nub and uh, just extrude out of a couple millimeters just to have a solid object. It won't work with just a circle. So anyhow, you, you, you're you picking that body that you want to put along the path and you're picking the object, you're picking the path and then 
even though I only wanted 10 LEDs because you got your start and your finish when I had to say I wanted 11 and then it tells you and you pull, you know, and that's where you stop your path at. So that was uh, the only way that I could realistically uh, see how to uh, get nice, even spacing on those. So that's what I did. And uh, let's see, we'll cancel that. But anyhow, so anyhow, so you do that. And then eventually you end up with, a, uh, you know, I also made like a solid here as well. Um, at the end, I ended up, you might have saw the stand that I had. And I guess I got to turn all the bodies on. Oh, that's sketches bodies. Hmm. Maybe I'm not on there. Oh, components. There we go. All right. So this is the component that I made a stand component. It was a little harder than you thought to get the angle right so that it would sit back a little bit and get it so you could uh, get the LEDs to because they'd be protruding but still have enough uh, uh, meat in, on your uh, uh, in your slot to hold your PCB. Oh yeah, the PCB. So. Anyhow, that's what I ended up doing, but um, let's pull it back here. So um, with the free version of um, free version of uh, uh, Fusion, you can't really do some of the exports and imports and stuff like that with it, but you can. I have to move myself again. Sorry, folks. You can click on a sketch and you can save it as a DXF. So that's what I did. I saved that as a DXF. And um, um, I actually did that. And then um, if you've been following me a while, you know that I also do the laser cutting. And uh, I also have the laser, that's on another computer, but I can remote into it. So I was able to save the DXF and move it over here to uh, to uh, Lightburn. And um, because it lets you save in different file formats, SVG and stuff like that that you need that will have to go onto your uh, PCB when you make it. So, um, uh, and you can also pull it apart here. You can click on this, and then you can move this out of the way. So you can have the outline, and you can send the outline as one file. And I'm going to undo here. You can send the outline as one file because that's a cut line for the thing, and then... Uh, I uh, just made screen, use the circle, there's a screen, uh, 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 what do you call it, a uh, screen print for the PCB. And uh, so that way you know where to set them. And then you go ahead and make your PCB, you, you design your PCB and all that. And uh, uh, then you can just place, I think these circles are just a little bit bigger than the ones that the, uh, uh footprints of the leds have one there so it was just a matter of just putting them in there and getting them as concentric as you can it might be just a i don't know a mill or two off or whatever thousandths of an inch off but uh it's not it's not too bad i mean there might have been a way that you could have made sure they were exactly right in that circle but uh um uh just eyeballing it i think i got you know really 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 close doing it that way so uh, i didn't worry about going too long but uh that's like i said that's the um uh was the crux of this one you know the design i already already done the design i just have the two leds lighting up instead of one on that and uh um it Worked out fine, you know. Like I said, the code I knew the I knew not the code the the schematic and everything. The drawing was going to work fine and everything. And, uh, 
like I said, it turned out that I'd made things trying to be symmetrical and it ended up looking like there's a mean face on the darn thing. I don't know. It's supposed to be for Valentine's Day. So that didn't turn out so well, but I want, I want, I, I, I'm a symmetrical type of guy. So, uh, it, uh, uh, that's the way it turned out. And, uh, it turned out great, and I might use it for the uh, for my learn to solder classes. I don't usually do some; I do them for the holidays. But uh, maybe I'll do a class or two in February. Um, this will have to be for uh, maybe people that have gone a little bit longer, because um, like I say, the other components aren't too bad on there. But you got twenty LEDs. Most of my things have like you know. 12 leds and a you know a similar amount of components but it's it i imagine might have to give a little bit extra time if it's new people doing it but uh it turned out pretty well and uh i'm, I'm happy with it so anyhow the big thing was like i said we um uh just trying to figure out i'd wanted to do this for a while and uh i knew about the pattern on a path that uh, fusion could do but then i had to try to figure out well i knew i couldn't put a fusion file right over into the um uh, uh easy eda so let's see i can get out of this so uh, let me go back to the easy eda and uh, here's the schematic for this like i say it's got all the leds are just paired up uh, and this is the decade counter and this is the 555 timer and you can see we got our variable resistor potentiometer, little blue potentiometer in the circuit here, and got the um, capacitors and the uh, resistors to give you using the uh, uh, online calculator to give you the what your pulses are going to be for that and everything. And uh, yeah, it worked out well. And uh, let's see. And this is what it looks like when you're drawing it with a PC, PCB. Like I said, you have the outlines, and then let's get in close on one of these. Oh, I, that's right. I was able to. Uh, the, so the inside line is is here, and uh, the uh, uh, footprint is actually outside of it. So, like you say. I think there's actually two lines with that. So you can see how far off I am. I'm just a little bit. You can see it's a little wider here and a little narrower there. So I didn't get it exactly perfect, but you can, like I say, you can move in here as much as you want. You can get it. Looks like you might have had that one closer to perfect. But anyhow, that's uh, basically what it is. And of course, you can preview it with a 3D. And of course, it doesn't use whatever LED color I picked was there. So, but uh, you can see, um, and same way I have my two holes here that you bring in your uh, USB cable, tie a single knot into it. And of course you're not gonna have the, it brought in these as I'm just using it, uh, uh, a single pin post to get it uh, where it is, but you don't put those in, you just put your wires back into that, the negative and the positive. But you can see it's a fairly simple board, and uh, uh, that's the way it works. And got it ordered, and got a ten of them back, and uh, everything seems to be working fine with it. Um, so that's all I really wanted to show off on this video was the uh, how to get them as even as you can when you uh, if you want to try to uh, space something out irregularly. Sometimes you have to. Use uh, I ended up using Fusion. I used the light burn, and then you put it into Easy EDA, to, and then you do it. So it took uh, three programs over two computers to get the get it get it uh, so it looked good. Um, there's no way I could even try to get that to be evenly spaced. If not, you know, I guess you could use trigonometry or something to get the circles. You know, get the first one going around the circle, but then when you get down here to this curve, then all of a sudden it's going to be off. Where fusing, you just drag it around there until you get to where, to where you want to be, and 
everything spaced out so nice and easy. So that's that was the easy way of doing it. Anyhow, that's my video for today. And uh, thanks for watching.